Having begun studying at Edinburgh, Alexander supported himself by teaching and with the help of a bursary from the city of Edinburgh. Within two years, he had mastered every European language by acquiring a copy of the New Testament in it first, then translating it for himself. In 1802, he became editor of the Scots magazine, in which you can find examples of his poetry and prose. He was also published in the Edinburgh Review. He became employed to edit Bruce's Travels in Abyssinia, an account of James Bruce's travels to discover the source of the Nile, staying at Kinnaird House in Stirling, where James Bruce's papers were kept. On returning again to Edinburgh, he became a member of the Literary Society. During this time, he learned Abyssinian, Ethiopian, Tamil, Sanskrit, Persian, Icelandic, Iranian, and the Slavic languages. He also learned all the different languages of the British Isles that existed then. Having qualified in divinity, Alexander was appointed as assistant to Dr Muirhead in our parish, then succeeded him as minister there in 1808. He married Henrietta Affleck in that same year. While living in our parish, Alexander published his Life of Bruce, the Abyssinian Tra Traveller, and wrote his History of European Languages, which wasn't published until after his death. He also translated a letter for King George from the governor of Tigri or Tigre in Ethiopia, because he was the only person who could understand Ethiopian in the British Isles. He became professor of Oriental languages at Edinburgh University in 1812 and published Outlines of Oriental Philology during his first year of teaching. In Edinburgh, 1813, while still in that first year, he fell ill. He died on the 15th of April, aged only 37 years. Still, in his short life he had learned over 30 languages, been a minister, a professor and an editor and taken a commission from the King. This monument to Alexander's memory was erected in 1835, mainly by James Stewart, ex-squire of Cairnsmore, and is made of Dalbiti granite. The inscription was added in 1877.